Hey folks, Peter here. In today's video, which will be part one of at least three in a series, we're going to tackle a fun project. Cast iron. So I've been on the hunt for a skillet, pan, or whatever you want to call this, of this size. I believe this is about a 10 inch, 10 inch pan, some high sides, higher sides. And uh, I've wanted one for a while. I want to do some baking in it. Finally found it. So we're going to go through the process of getting this thing cleaned up. As you can see, there's some spots in here. So we got to get this thing down, get rid of the rust. I think, I don't know if this is rust or burnt on food, but either way, we got to get that out of there so we can start our seasoning process. So we got to get this cleaned up. I'm going to start with uh, some soap and water, just as like a good base. And then I'm going to try some other methods. Hopefully we don't have to do any sanding, um, but if we do, we will get that on video. Here's the outside. As you can see, this is definitely rust over here. So we need to get rid of that. Hopefully this is just surface rust that will come off with some soap and water, maybe some scrubbing like a scouring pad, a few other techniques we can try. If not, we will have to get the sander out and get this back down to the bare metal. But hopefully we just have to do some good thorough cleaning and we'll be on our way. After we do the cleaning in part two, I will show you some of the other methods you can use for getting this stripped down. Sanding, I know some people will do like oven cleaner, stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with that. If I have to, I will do some sanding and that'll also help us get a nice smooth surface on this bottom, which will help us with the non-stick. So let's go over to the sink here and let's get some cleaning done. All right, well, after shooting that intro twice, here we are, we're over at the sink. So like I said before, we will be using soap and water to clean this. Once you have this fully seasoned and you've got a, a good non-stick surface going on there, you don't want to be using soap. That will take away what you have in there. But right now we do want to take away what we have in there because this is gross. Like I said, I don't know if this is baked on food or rust or a combination of the both. So we're going to get through that and uh, see where we get after some soap and water. I'm just going to turn on the sink here, get some hot water going. And I'm just going to go ahead and get some soap in here. This is Don. Don, I just put him in a little squirt bottle like this. I don't know, I think it works out really well in the kitchen. I find it handy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start scrubbing here. Let that water get nice and hot. And this is kind of like my clean, dirty gunk brush. That's why it's all messed up there and not nice and clean looking. You can already see in the bristles there, that's uh oh that's looking gross so this water is getting pretty hot here go and get a little bit of that in there just a little bit for now and I, can you see this color that's coming out of here i'm gonna shut that water off can you see this color that's coming out of here now i'm realizing as i'm doing this that i didn't actually take any before pictures of this pan so you're just gonna have to Trust me, when I say this thing was pretty filthy in there. Luckily, I'm not seeing any bright rust, so that's a pretty good sign, I think. Hopefully this is just some nasty food and that never got cleaned off before it got handed over to the thrift store. But as you can see, do you see the color of that? That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so that's a pretty good first scrub there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this out see what we're looking at. And this is actually kind of interesting. Let me get this fully rinsed out and I'll show you guys here what I'm talking about, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing. This is actually looking pretty decent. Uh, it's still wet, so it's gonna look really nice and you know good. But I'm seeing definitely some dark spots here and then there's some lighter spots. But it's like a it's like a, a gray so we might actually be pretty clean there just after some soap and water and a scrub brush no scouring pads i've seen people use salt before in their pans when they're when they're doing stuff like this some salt and uh, cut a potato in half and you just use that to scrub in there pretty good i might still do that just for the effect i've seen people use leather like a strip of leather and use that to scrub it like a softer scrub i do have this just like little chainmail rag or whatever you want to call that. People use that for cleaning these out too. That works really well. You know, or just like a sponge. So like a little scouring sponge, sponge there. But this is looking pretty good. I think I will go ahead and grab some salt and cut a potato in half and just see how much cleaner we can get the inside. But before I do that, I'm going to flip this thing over and uh, 
work on getting this cleaned up. So this again, so far from what I'm seeing, the soap even isn't coming out fully black or really dark. It is a little gray, but that brush seems to be getting in these grooves really well. And that one spot of rust that we had over here, hold on. Okay, I'm still seeing a little bit right in this corner here. So when we get out the potato and salt, maybe we can try to hit that spot too. Uh, a little more abrasive than just this brush. It's looking pretty good after just like a first rinse, first wash, whatever you want to call it. So let me go ahead and grab a potato and some salt and uh, let's see how clean we can get this thing. Okay, so I've got my potato here cut in half. This one's pretty small. Uh, hopefully we can get in some of the nooks in this pan and uh, see how much cleaner we can get this. I did dry this out too a little bit. So you can see what I was talking about here. This, this area up here, uh, this is still wet on this side, uh, but this is definitely some deep baked in stuff. Doesn't look like it's a rust. So uh, we're just gonna keep going here, cleaning this. On to the next step. So I've got some uh, coarse salt here. I don't know if you're supposed to use coarse or not coarse salt, but I've got so coarse handy and I just feel like that might scrub better. So all you do is you just take that in a potato. And you just work it into the pan. Now I have seen some people do this where the pan is hot. Uh, I mean, I did just rinse it with warm water, so it is a little warm, but it's not really hot. Uh, I mean, obviously I can still touch it just fine. No issues there. Uh, I think heating it up opens up the pores in the iron, which might help with getting in there better. Uh, or on the other side, you can do cold, try to close those pores up so you're not getting, you know, potato starch or salt in it, but I'm fine with it either way. Just a little bit of scrubbing here, and you can already see that potato, you know, so this is one that I haven't used yet, and here's the one that I have used. See that color difference? And the salt's turning gray as well. And I am putting pretty good force on this potato just to really get it in there. Can you guys see that bottom? It looks a lot better already. So I feel like I got a pretty good scrub on the inside of the pan here. Uh, I mean, you can see this salt. This was just, you know, like white salt. Now it's this gross color. Obviously, don't eat that stuff. Um, if it was winter, maybe I'd go toss it on the driveway or something, try to melt some ice with it. But for now, I'm just going to run lots of water down the sink. I don't want to get this clogged up or anything. Maybe I'll run some Drano after it or some sort of sink declogger, whatever you have. Uh, so I'm going to flip this over. And I'm just going to leave all that salt in it for now. Um, but as you can see, those uh, dark spots that were up here, those are now gone with just a potato and some salt. So you don't need any fancy tools. I guess maybe a potato and salt is fancy, but this might be more readily available to you than like uh, that chain mail rag thing that I was showing you or a stripping disc in a, in a power drill. So just some elbow grease and a potato. And we got that one looking pretty good. We got, we're getting lucky here. So I'm just gonna flip it over and there's that one spot of rust and I just wanna hit that now too. Uh, so I'm gonna put some more salt on it and see what we can do. I'm gonna grab a fresh, the fresh potato here. So this is the before. So I want you guys to remember that. And when you're scrubbing with the potato and the salt, you'll feel it. And I think that's what you want. Otherwise you're just rubbing potato around. So make sure you got some salt on it. You know, I'll grab some of this stuff too. And I'm just really digging into this corner here. That rust. Gone. That rust is gone up there now. Wow. Camera's dying. I'm going to go get a new battery and I will be back with uh, the next step. All right. So here we are back over at the counter recording this section twice as well. Uh, I forgot to turn my microphone on because I'm a goofball. But anyway, got it cleaned up. And as soon as you get it cleaned up before I went and grabbed a new battery for the camera, take a paper towel, dry every spot you can. Water and iron don't play together, or they play together really well, and they make uh, rust, which nobody likes in their cookware. So just make sure to dry every spot off, get up in the handle, get up in that little hole up in here, get that dried out, flip it over, 
get that wiped down. And this thing's basically bone dry. <laughs> this is the second time wiping it down. Uh, I do see in here still where it did look really clean. Again, it was wet and you know, there was some potato starch in here, I guess. But these spots are still here, so we will take care of those in part two. We are gonna have to go beyond just elbow grease and scrubbing, but we'll cover that in part two. Where that rust spot was right here, it does look like it's gone down a little bit. That rust looks like it's mostly gone, but I would like to get that cleaned up as well as just this whole ring here. The grooves, as you can see, there's some stuff in there. I'm gonna have to try to figure something out with that. Again, I'll cover that in part two. And then I did notice on the side right here, if that camera will focus. No, doesn't want to focus for me today. Right here, there's a little bit of rust right there. Nothing to be too worried about, but that is in one of those little nooks that I was talking about. So again, part two, we will cover that. All in all, I am pleased with how this is turning out. Like I said, I bought this at a thrift shop and you saw how gunky it looked like with the burnt on, whatever that was or rust or whatever it happened to be. We got this thing looking pretty good so far, but uh, I do want to get it cleaned up a lot better. So we'll cover that in part two. We're going to get out the power tools, sander, wire brushes, all stuff like that. And uh, we'll just get this thing smoothed up, cleaned up best we can. And then part three, we'll cover seasoning. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or if you have any experience with cast iron, let me know. I know there are plenty of cast iron videos out there on YouTube, but I did need to make some videos for the channel and I had this cast iron to clean up. So why not, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing outside. When I got done with the cleaning, wiped it down, stick this thing on the, st on the stove top or in the oven, low heat. You just wanna evaporate if there's some water that's in the pores that I was talking about earlier. Just wanna make sure to dry that out as best you can. Don't let the water sit in there, get it bone dry. Of course, we are doing another step before we get the oil on but just you want the pan dry before you get the oil on it. That's it for this video. See you guys in part two.